To present our final group of awards, please welcome back Barry Shabaka Henley. Thank you, thank you. I, I, I must confess, I'm slightly enhanced right now. I uh, uh, ran into the lovely ladies from Louisville with those uh, chocolate bourbon thingamajigs. And uh, I had a couple of those, and you've got to check them out. They're pretty extraordinary, but they are powerful. <laughs> so we are at the end of things, and we have the uh, final award group, including the big kahuna. Newscast evening. Let's roll that final set of nominees. In the category of newscast, evening, smaller markets, the nominees are Calf Fire, Doug Barton, Catherine Worsham, Ryan Wilkinson, Kathy Kuritich, Kenny Nichols. President Obama visits Kern County, Christy Jesse. In the category of newscast, evening, larger markets, the nominees are Eight News Now at 4 p.m., Anne Marie Peterson, NBC 7 News at 11, Nina Martinson, 10 News at 5, Crime Spree Comes to a Deadly End, Rose Arslan, Deputy Marshal Involved Shooting, Renee Gonzalez, 10 News at 11 p.m., Seau Suicide, Sarah Cowan, 10 News at 7, Michael Rosen, The Death of Junior Seau, Renee Gonzalez. And the Emmys go to Doug Barton, Catherine Warsham, Ryan Wilkinson, Kathy Kurek Cheeks, Kenny Nichols, The Call of Fire, of Calf Fire, uh, Nina Martinson, NBC7, News at 11, Sarah Cohen, 10 News at 11, Renee Gonzalez, The Death of Junior Sale. Firefighters are on the scene of a huge fire burning east of Santa Margarita. You may have seen the smoke today. It started this morning around 11.30 in the area of Highway 58 and Pozo Road. Kathy Koredich is at the fire command post and joins us with the latest tonight. Uh, Kathy, at last check, 750 acres. What do you have now? A 15-minute gun battle. Three people shot, including two sheriff's deputies. A shot fire with the deputy down, 12701 Maple View. New information tonight, we're learning about the man confronted by deputies in Lakeside, suspected of sexually abusing his girlfriend's young daughters. Also, what we have just learned about the deputies' conditions at the hospital. Tonight, 10 News has uncovered major developments into the tragic death of San Diego sports hero, Junior Seau. What a neighbor told us about a telling conversation that he had with Seau just weeks ago. And then there's this. A message left in the sand outside Seau's home, which may be his final words to his parents. Incredible individual, great team leader. A larger-than-life hometown hero gone at the age of 43 in an apparent suicide. Good evening, I'm Catherine Garcia. And I'm Christine Haas. Let's get right now to the coverage of Junior Seau tonight. Thank you so much. This is really awesome. Um, we have to thank our news director, Doug Barden, for entering us in the competition. And um, we have to thank really everybody who works on the show every day because it's obviously a team effort. And um, they did an awesome job. And um, thank you so much. I want to thank Andrew Masuda for loaning me this jacket. And I want to thank all the people that work behind the crews, Labrie Ferreira, Andrew Dazowski, Jess Bustos, and especially Kathy Kredich and Kenny Nichols, who are out there on the fire lines risking their lives. And I want to thank one man who probably still lives in Bakersfield. His name is Douglas McGinty. He taught me everything I knew about making television when I was 18 years old. An amazing man. Thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of the NBC7 News team in San Diego, I'd like to proudly uh, receive these awards here with my colleagues and say that as you all know, it really is a team effort, especially on these half hour, an hour long broadcasts. And then everyone, as you know, from the show producers to the assignment desk to the interns and the writers, the directors, the producers, everybody deserves the credit for this and thank you very much.
Hi. I'm Frank Castillo, and I am a tenants director in San Diego. And uh, this one's especially, I'm especially proud of this one just because the producer, Sarah Cowan, she's great and she's very, very good at what she does. So uh, I want to thank her and uh, obviously, you know, Kimberly Hunt and uh, Steve Atkinson. And, and uh, we have a really good team at night. So good for her. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, all good things must come to an end. And we are at the end of what I consider a fantastic evening, an evening that highlights that we and our local communities have world-class talent. Thank you. I am very honored to have been here this evening to be a part of this wonderful event, and there's a lot of people to thank that you don't see that are behind the scenes working tirelessly to make this thing happen. And it's a long list of folks, and I'm going to run through them, but I really want to give them a heartfelt thanks because being among my peers and being among greatness is always uplifting to the heart. All right, so. We'd like to thank, at the top, AMB Publicity for sponsoring the after party and arranging the talent. Oh, Michelle and uh, Andre out there somewhere. A shout out to both of you and thank you. Uh, also, the uh, Wealth TV, La Bonita, KSNV Digital Outpost, Fox Sports San Diego, The Good Food Factory, NBC7 San Diego, the San Diego Union Tribune, Tim Oskin, CPA, College of Southern Nevada, the School of Theater, Television and Film at San Diego State University, Damon Kelly and Cox Communication, and thanks to Murray, Sawchuck, Liz Fuller, Buck Taylor, and all the fabulous presenters from the Pacific Southwest area. Now, if you want to see tonight's photos and order some prints, go to Rosing R O R O E S I N K Photography dot com after June twenty third. And anyone that would like to pick up a stature for someone that is not here, please do so backstage and please join us for an after party sponsored by AMB Publicity next door in the in the room in there where a the cocktail reception was earlier and well, we hope to see all of you next year for our fortieth anniversary. Thank you. Go out and do some good in your neighborhood. Good night, everyone. Thank you.